Six years ago, at Christmas time, my niece, uh, Lori Hawkins, who is an OPP officer in Woodstock, her husband and both their children had a carbon monoxide incident in their home. The family died during the incident, but Lori lived for a week past that. The foundation actually started because my brother had said, There's, this is a senseless death. I can't believe this is happening to our family. So I made a promise to my brother that I would do the very best I possibly could to warn all people about the dangers of carbon monoxide. Every day somebody's calling here or emailing us, so we spend probably the better part of three or four hours every morning going to the computer and answering letters and talking to people that are requesting our presence to be somewhere that we need to be. When we first started, we threw a pebble in the water and said, that's what we want, the ripple effect. That's how we're gonna educate people. But I can't reach everybody in the whole world. But if I do the pyramid building system, throw the pedal in the water and the water spreads out, everybody will eventually find out about it. Well, when the accident happened, Ernie Hardiman, the uh, MPP from Oxford County, put forth a private member's bill in memory of the Hawkins and Janak families. We got behind him 100% to get the bill passed so that everybody in Ontario would get a CO alarm put in their home. We're actually now gonna save more lives, but it also makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing the government finally believes in what I'm trying to tell everybody, and we can move forward and now protect all Canada and not have to spend all our energy in Ontario. It's very rewarding. It makes me feel that I'm doing what I set out to do, to save lives in the memory of my niece and her family. A lot of hard work, but I tell you, hard work is resulting in saving lives, and that's what it's all about.